Good morning everybody and welcome to another video. Today we're going to somewhere kind of a little bit different. So if you've watched some of the previous videos you'll know that I'm in Gili Air right now. And today I'm heading off to Gili Meno, which is one of the neighboring islands. Basically here in the Gili Islands where we are right now there's three different Gili Islands. Gili Air, Gili Meno and Gili Troangan. And I'm off to Gili Meno. The Menno is quite famous because it has turtles there, so I'm not going to go snorkeling or diving with them. But they have a very, uh, they have a, a turtle farm or turtle sanctuary. I'm not sure how you would word it. So we're going to go and check out this turtle farm in Gili Menno. Are you guys ready to go see some turtles? Hi everybody. Hi. <laughs> some guys making some repairs. Yeah, I just have to walk to the harbour. I did actually try to do this yesterday. But you guys don't know that because I didn't film at all. But I went to go to catch the boat yesterday at 9 o'clock. And the boat left at 8.30. <laughs> so, this day today will be a little bit more successful because I'm leaving now at 8 o'clock down to the harbour. I'll be able to catch the 8.30 boat. And get over to Gili Menno. Takes about half an hour depending on the current and the wind. So let's go. So I just thought I'd point out a couple of things that are really quite next to each other here on the main street in Gili Air on the harbour walking down to the boats. This is Bredalicious, which is actually a bakery in the middle of Gili Air and it makes fantastic pancakes. They have breads, danishes and they even serve lunch now and sandwiches, crepes, waffles. I'm just looking at the sign there, coffee. You see here tapas as well. They've really kind of expanded since we were here about two years ago. This is bread delicious, so a good spot if you want to come and have a nice, uh, different kind of meal to eating Indonesian and I guess Asian cuisine. It's really a little bit different. And they have good Wi-Fi here too. So now right across the way, it probably doesn't show up as much unless I filmed it at night time. This is a shopping little area. And now each shop is different colored. So this is pink. Le Bulula. I can't see all the names. Let's see here. This is Red Chili. Go Green. Blanco Negro. And Feeling Blue. It's a really kind of very different shopping area to what we've seen in any other parts of the Gili Islands for sure. And each shop is themed to those colors. It's a lot, lot brighter than the video shows, and this is early morning here, so the sun hasn't come up fully yet, so just thought I'd point them out on the way down to the harbour for you. So there's Bread Delicious behind me, and this shopping area. We haven't actually walked in these shops, I just thought their colours are pretty neat. I've never really seen anybody in here every time we walk past either, it's always very quiet, so I'm not sure how well they're doing money-wise, but yeah. So here we are at the ticket office, just about to buy our ticket to go to Gili Menno. So it's basically a public... I guess a uh, dock, and then there's a waiting area right here, and there's a couple of people selling the tickets. So the very important thing is, as I found out yesterday, is make sure you come at the right time to catch your boat. What people call them ferries here, but they're actually boats. They're not very big boats. Uh, and you'll see everybody over here waiting, a lot of people coming and going, a lot of people mostly going back to Bali. So they go back to either Sanua or Padang Bay. So, bit awkward time with the sun but we get everybody in the video at the same time so yeah we're here we're waiting just wait for them to call us now okay off we go
Here we are just stepping off the boat in Gilimeno. See the boat pulls right up to the beach and you're right there at the main little street where you can head to the left or right and do the walk around the island. Pretty much from where I got off just here I walked to the left of the boat as it was parked. As you're looking at this video it's to the right now and walk down to the turtle sanctuary and you'll see everybody getting on the next boat as we pulled in. Now as I was walking along down to the beach and to see these turtles, I came across a bit of earthquake damage. Now, basically when an earthquake happens on an island, everything shakes and everything falls, especially anything that's made of concrete. So there's one building right here, and that's the second building right there. Now the others in the back don't look too bad. This is kind of a very big kind of garden resort. It's very hard to see here, but uh, it's not pretty to see, especially if you're the owner of this place and come back, because most buildings don't really have any way to recover them once they've got that kind of wall damage. So yeah, it's uh, a bit of a shame, because there's very little that you can recover in terms of the materials to rebuild. Pretty much everything needs to be knocked down and start again. Especially where they render all the walls. These walls are basically not reusable. You can't really scrape the bricks off them because they over-render the walls. This is where they just sort of crack into pieces. So this place was called Gazebo Beach Bar and Restaurant. And this was kind of the, I imagine the bar here right at the front. And then over here is the other building which hasn't fared too well at all. Now this is about three months afterwards, so somebody has come over and tried to sort of see if they could manage to get some tiles and different things, but otherwise the place has been abandoned and just left as is. It does become very kind of eerie when you're here and see all these places that are basically just empty and nobody around. So here we are at the Gilimeno Turtle Sanctuary. So again, it's only, I would say, at the most 10 minutes walk from the pier when you get off the fast boats or slow boats or speed boats. And it's pretty much very understated what it is. I mean, for me, when you hear Turtle Sanctuary, you think, oh, wow, amazing place. Um, but essentially, it is turtles. But there's no turtles here. Can you believe it? We come to see turtles, and there's no turtles. <laughs> now, I didn't sort of come and walk up and around here first. I just came to uh, do this blindly. And the turtles have gone. I'd imagine that they've moved them somewhere else. It's the best thing I could think of. I don't know. So I'm just now walking around the island a little bit here in Gilimeno, and it is super quiet. Because of the earthquake, a lot of people just haven't come back here. There is sort of damage around the place. Most bungalows are kind of open, like the, the homestay bungalows, where it's like a family with little houses. Um, as we said that, we're just going to walk past here another place that's the walls just seem to just almost implode. Um, if we can see that sort of well there, but you know, it's just sort of weird to see kind of places just damaged as they are, you know. So I'm going to walk back, I'm going to try now to get the early boat to go to Gili Trawangan. And they have a little turtle farm sanctuary over there. So let's hope it's actually there and we can see some turtles. I'm hoping we can. Now let's hope we can get this early boat back. Otherwise I'm here for quite a few hours until the afternoon. So let's see.
This little boat just ahead is a, a transfer boat that you take to get on the boat over to Gili Trawangan. It's basically a pontoon boat, it pulls up at the beach, it's a little bit easy to get on and then the actual main boat pulls alongside once we get out into the harbour area to go over to Gili Trawangan. Hopefully. Sorry, it's going to be a bit wet now. Oh. Oh. Sorry. It's definitely a ticket. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, he's in one piece. <laughs> the guy seems to be still checking my ticket to make sure it's original because it was all wet in my pocket. <laughs> I apologized a few times, but he still didn't think it was a real ticket, I think. <laughs> so off we go. Every time I arrive to Gili Trawangan, it really amazes me at the amount of people that you see uh, getting on and off these speedboats. There's really just crowds and crowds of people, and people with big luggage as well. And they come to these little islands with suitcases and beyond suitcases. This is the little boat I just got off, and then the one next to it is uh, seeing everybody here. You see everybody just crowding onto the next boat. Most of these people are all going to back to Bali, so they have a little bit bigger boat for the Bali-bound ones. So just as I was walking back towards the boat here in Gili Trawangan, it's uh, still very noticeable the damage from the earthquake. This place particularly here got absolutely pummeled. Basically just piles of bricks everywhere now and they just cleared the path for people to pass. But it's uh, whoever owned this place, there is nothing left. So. I'm not sure what to say really, it's really quite uh, takes you back a little bit when you have a look and see it. So we'll move on shall we? So here I am on Gili Trawangan and we came to see the turtles and guess what? No turtles. No turtles. So if you're coming to Gili Trawangan or Gili Meno anytime soon to see turtles there is no turtles. They could probably make these into like swimming pools now, I think. That was probably the next option. Um, the beach is still amazing. It's almost not real when you look out to the beach. Uh, yeah. So, our whole vlog of coming to see turtles is thwarted, let's say. Oh, uh, yeah. There we have it. So this is my, well, originally Gile Meno blog, and now Gili Troangan. And I'm gonna head back now to Gili Air. And I don't know. So I'm sorry if you watch this to this point in the video, but I'm just as disappointed as you guys are. So let's keep going and we'll head on back, shall we? And we'll see what we see on the way. Here I am just boarding the boat back to Gili Air from Gili Trawangan. So basically from here it's about a 30 to 40 minute boat ride. This is actually the public boat so it does take a little bit longer. It does get really full. You'll see all the people uh, clamoring on board now. So let's get back to Gili Air and relax. The boat over to Gili Air is definitely rocking and rolling. It doesn't look like it in the video, but it definitely is rocking today. So I'm just now at Gili Air, and I thought I'd give you a bit of a wrap up of today's vlog. It was originally to go to Gili Meno and go see the turtles. Uh, that didn't happen. And then I got on the boat to Gili Trawangan to go see the turtles, and still no turtles. And now I'm back on Gili Air, heading back to the pool for a swim because it's just getting hot. Uh, yeah, so I'm sorry. Uh, thanks for watching. This is one of the ongoing vlogs while we're up here in Bali and the Gili Islands. Uh, stay tuned for a better, more exciting video. And thanks for watching. If you're a subscriber, welcome back. 
if you're a first time watcher and you like this kind of videos and you like cruise ships of course from my original videos and when I get back to work click subscribe give it a thumbs up if you like the video maybe post a comment maybe you've been to Gili Islands before maybe you've been to Gili Air, Gili Trawanga, Gili Meno let us know in the comments thanks for watching the vlog everybody have a nice day